So actually, in the beginning, Urban Tech, we have been playing scenario-based game, uh, but we kind of stopped for a while. So recently, we have some old members actually came and asked, uh, can we have back the scenario-based game? So that was the reason why we had our very first scenario-based game after about more than a, about a year plus. So basically, scenario-based game uh, is very different uh, because there are certain objectives. Uh, you, do, you don't just storm and, and just try to eliminate each other. There's certain objective that the teams will need to uh, meet. They are forced to even strategize on how to achieve the objective. I guess this is something that really a lot of people are looking for uh, to come and participate. So basically, this is how Operation Black Panther works. Um, we have three teams. So one, the first team is the uh, Red Brotherhood. Red Brotherhood objective is supposed to kill the king. Uh, the Royal King's Guard is supposed to protect the king. And the NATO are supposed to escort the king together with the Royal King's Guard to the extraction point. So basically, that's how the game works. Today's turnout was fantastic. Uh, we have, I think, more than 40 people, 40 players who came, and I can see that everyone really enjoyed the game. Uh, this is the very first time we tried on, and uh, it works. Every one of them have the opportunity, even, to be in uh, three different teams to experience all the different objectives, uh, the disadvantage and the advantage. Basically, this makes us realise that actually scenario-based game uh, does have uh, its footing, does have people who actually enjoy scenario-based war games, and, and that's something that, you know, for us, Urban Tech, we will want to carry on to organise more such games in the future.